All right, everybody. Um, so here's the second part of these overlapping triangles or solving these overlapping triangles. Um, sometimes we refer to them as side splitters for what it's worth. Um, but we developed a nice strategy. We're going to pull the triangles apart. We're going to relabel them. That's going to mean we're going to have to add or subtract the sides some of the time. But that's an easy thing to do. And then once we've done that, um, hopefully we can see the full proportions, solve them. Boom, we done. All right, so last four in this set. Small triangle. Okay, so we get x plus 1.5 on the left. We have 5 kind of for the hypotenuse. Okay, larger triangle. Um, we have 5 plus 2.5 for the side, that'd be 7.5. Um, across the left hand side, we have 2x's plus 1.5, so 2x plus 1.5. Um, now we have our ratios aligned out. And go left is to left, and so x plus 1.5 is to 2x plus 1.5. Okay, in the same way, uh, the top is to top. Um, on the left hand ratio, we, we did small triangle over large, so this one also has to be small triangle over large, so 5 over 7.5. Um, with with a with the distribution and also the uh, decimals, I'm just going to go right and cross multiply. I'm not going to mess around. Um, so 7.5 times the quantity x plus 1.5. That's where those parentheses come in handy. And then on the other side, we have 5 times the quantity 2x plus 1.5. All right, moving us up a little more room here. I didn't really, as you can see, I didn't really fix what was going on on my board. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Honestly, I probably need to restart my computer or something. I probably need an update. Uh, but we're going to get through these last four problems, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe. It's got to go real slow. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right, so grab my calculator. Let's do some distribution. So we're going to have uh, 5 times 2x and then 5 times 1 and a half. Um, 5 times 2x will give us 10x. 1.5 times 5 is going to be 7.5. Here we have 7.5x. Okay, for that distribution, and then 7.5 times 1.5 will give us 11.25 uh, for that distribution. All right, so we're going to have to do some algebra, right? So we're going to have to get all the x's to one side and all the numbers to the other. Let's do that all in one big step. So subtract 7 and a half x's. So move them all to the left. Subtract 7.5 to move them to the right. Okay, and so I'm gonna have to like move that up here. Uh, so 10 subtract 7.5 will give us 2.5 x's. And those cancel. Um, and that's equal to 11.25 subtract 7.5, 3.75. Okay, so divide that by two and a half. Lots of decimals here. We have x to be, look at that, 1.5. Very simple answer. All right. Uh, so they're, what, they're gonna flip it over and try, think they're gonna trick us? They're not gonna trick us. Small triangle, nine on the left, x plus four on the right. Large triangle, large triangle, okay. Uh, we have 12 plus nine, uh, so what's that, 21? On the left, it's going to be 19, 20, 21. All right, um, here we're going to add the two pieces together. So 2x plus x gives us 3x's, and then we're just going to have a trailing plus 4. All right, let's set this up. So left is to left, so 21 is to 9. Okay, in the same way that right is to right. 21 represents a large triangle, so 3x plus 4 should go on top. 4 should go on top, and then uh, x plus 4 should go on bottom. So we have large left, large uh, over small left, over large right, uh, large right over small right. Cool. All right. So let's do some algebra. So 21 times the quantity x plus 4 is equal to 9 times the quantity 3x plus 4. So distributing, 9 times 3 is 27x's, plus 36 is the same as 21x's 
plus 84. All right, collecting terms. Whoop, out of room. All right, so let's uh, kind of rejigger the problem right here. Um, so I have six X's on the right. I have 84 minus 36, that's a three. 48, six times eight is 48, ergo X is equal to eight. All right, here we go, I have to scroll down. Let's see what's gonna happen. Let's finish up. Small triangle. Large triangle. Okay, on the left I have five and two, that makes a seven. On the right I have a seven and x, that would be seven plus x. All right, you know, we're no, you know at this point, it's gonna be ratio writing time. And so five is to seven. And so we'll go small triangle over large triangle. It's going to be equal to 7 small triangle over 7 plus x large triangle. Okay, let's print the size. So cross multiplication, 49. The same as 5 times quantity 7 plus x. So 35 plus 5x. So let's subtract off for 35. Okay, so 49 minus 35 gives me 14. <sighs> 49 minus 35, yes, gives me 14 is equal to 5x. So divide that by five, both sides by five, I have x equals 2.8. All right, one last time into the breach. Okay, large triangle, nine, nine and six. I'm sorry, that's small triangle, large triangle. Well, look at this, look how nice they were. Uh, they just told us the whole value was x. I can just copy that. No adding or subtracting needed. Well, I get some on the left. Um, 9 and 12 again make 21. Corresponding sides, large triangle over small triangle, just because this time. Okay, so we have x and we have 6. Cross multiply, 9x's. Twenty-one times six is one twenty-six. Divide that by nine, and x equals fourteen. All right, guys. Um, so much like the last video, this is just about separating the triangles. Um, yes, you can expect problems like this. Yes, the big mistake you're, you're going to make is like maybe not separating the triangles. Now you are taking this test on Schoology, so you probably want some paper next to you where you can work this out, right? That'd probably be the smart thing. Um, but yeah, the, the big strategy to turn this into a very simple problem is really just to separate the triangles and then redraw them. You're going to have some issue, and the, the mistake you might make, excuse me, is not recognizing that you have to add the sides together. But once you get tricked once by it, usually you never get tricked again. And that's why these problems, hopefully by the end, um, we're turning into very simple ones, um, very repetitive ones, right? Separate the triangles, relabel it. Sometimes you have some tricky addition, x plus x plus 1.5. Um, make sure you know how to do that. Um, but like, yeah, that's going to be the big thing, okay? So um, with that being said, let me go ahead and stop this. I'll see you in the last part where we're going to be proving triangles similar by shortcuts.